Hi guys, we are in the laundry room, so sorry about the lighting being a little bit dim, but what I'm going to be doing this morning is running a fecal sample. Um, I have one little doe that's been having some loose stool, she doesn't have a fever, she has good eye color, she's got a great appetite, she's acting normal, but she has loose stool. Um, so I did a fecal on her a couple of days ago and found out that she actually had some coccidia. So I've been treating her with a medication as well as probiotics to help her. Well, a, my one of our little weathers um, that is nowhere near her at all, he is actually in a completely separate area um, this morning, he had a little bit of, it's not diarrhea, it's just a little pasty. Now we had a massive drastic change in our weather. We've been... Um, really nice and warm and sunny um, several days it was you know in the 75 it, you know in the in the 70s the upper 70s and then all of a sudden yesterday it got really chilly really fast the wind picked up we've had over an inch of rain in less than 24 hours and we are now sitting at 48 degrees so just that extreme shift in the weather could have caused um, you know something for him so I'm just gonna double check and last time I forgot to show you guys um, you know how we do fecals so I thought I'd go ahead and take you bring you along with me and show you so the first thing that I'm gonna do I go to my vet's office and I get the solution um, it's almost like a sugar solution uh, and she gives me a small bottle of it and I don't have to pay for it so I had to go pick some more of that up because I was out of it the next thing I use is I just use an old pill bottle and here's my fecal sample that I collected this morning from him I'm wearing gloves and then, you know, you need to make sure that you get an okay amount. And this is, you know, kind of like Play-Doh consistency. So getting it out of here and into my sample containers um, is going to be a little bit interesting. All right. Now that I've got it in here, I'm going to add some of my solution. And then I'm going to stir it up. And then I'm just going to let it sit. So I'm going to fill this up about eh, almost halfway. And then I have, you can use like a popsicle stick or something. I'm using an old plunger to a syringe and I want to get the fecal material down into the solution. And then I'm just going to let it, at once I mix it up and try to break, make sure it's all broken up. I'm going to let it sit, okay, for about 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll come back. This is the, um, the slide is in this package. I keep it in here because these are not cheap, um, but it's uh, examine, and what I do is I just clean it really well after each use, let it dry, and then I put it back into the um, bubble pouch. Uh, these are about $20. And if you look, you see how they've got the lines on them? So when you're looking at it under the microscope, it actually divides it up into increments. So you can count in each column how many of what parasite or eggs or whatever you're looking at in there is. And that gives you an idea of the uh, load that your animal is carrying. My vet, um, her recommendation is in each, what we would call field, in each column, if there's any more than three or, she said around three is a moderate issue, anything over four to five is more of a severe issue of whatever you're counting, whether it's um, strong gills, you know, barber pole, coccidia, those type of things. So this is the one that I use. Um, I've got the microscope set up over here this is not my microscope this is a really good friend of mine's um she doesn't have the slide and i don't have a microscope so when she needs a fecal done she borrows my slide and i give her some of the solution and um she'll check her animals because she has goats too and then if i'm having an issue i just go borrow the microscope for her and it's working for right now i'd love to get my own um i picked one out and put it in our amazon wish list and hopefully this year we do well enough that I will be able to afford one. Um, I just had to pick up more medication uh, for the other goat that has the coccidia infection and it's not a cheap medication. So uh, the microscope will be put on hold for a little bit longer. <laughs> but at least I have a friend that we can share and it makes, you know, it works. It works. We, 
you know, her and I work together a lot on um, the fact that we both have goat herds. She has dairy goats. I have our, my meat goats and uh, we share. So if there's something that she doesn't have, um, you know, a lot of times I have it and vice versa, whether it be vitamins, supplements, um, medications, or like the microscope and the slide, and we'll just share if we need something. Um, and then it's also great that I have someone local that we can bounce ideas off of each other for having a problem, whether it be behavioral or health. Um, you know, we're, we're there for each other and that, that having that local support is so important whenever you're learning together. So we can pick each other's brain. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw up just a little bit of the solution. And then I'm gonna take my slide. Now you're gonna fill up one, it has the, the words down here, examine. You're filling it up from the top side, okay? And what we're gonna do is just take a syringe, a small syringe, and I'm gonna hold it at a slight angle and I'm gonna gently push and fill up, and this is why I have a paper towel and I had it a little bit of too much of an angle, and I'm gonna gently fill up that side of the slide. Um, I only do one side, I don't do both sides. Then I'm going to place it on my microscope. And the uh, strength that I'm using is the, oh, what is it, a 10 slash 0 0.25, so it's a 160 by 0.17. I don't know what that means. I just know that's the one that comes, <laughs> everything comes into focus on. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to take a look and I try to find the very first column I can kind of line that up by seeing what which one's being lit up um, and then I'm going to adjust the microscope to get everything into focus and then I'm going to move it slightly and see if I can get I'm having a little bit of trouble getting it to focus today Here we go. And then what I'm going to do is just look through each column and see what I can see. Wish I had some way to do some kind of special camera. That way I could show you guys what I'm looking at. But I will put a picture of the common, um, the, the microscope. Um, view of some of the common uh, parasites and things like that that they will have. Okay, now I do see one little coccidia in this one, and that was the main thing that I was really worried about. He's there, he's only about three three months old, so having you know parasites is a little more unusual for a younger um, goat. Uh, typically when they're really young they don't have as much issue doesn't mean they can't but oh, where did I go there we go okay so what I found is actually a mild to maybe moderate uh, case of coccidia um, it's been super wet we've been warm he's closed up in a stall with our new buck um, you know so it's possible that just that stress and everything kind of helps it bloom. You know, I try to keep everything nice and clean to prevent any issues. However, sometimes things happen. So we'll clean their stall again, we'll put fresh bedding down. And um, I only saw um, in the columns I actually wrote down. So the first column there was three, the second column there was two, third column there was two, the fourth column there was um, one. So I don't really think it's that bad. I think we just caught it early. I'm going to go ahead and treat him with probiotics as well as some tummy soother. And then we're going to go ahead and give him a dose of the medication for the Albon. If he's not feeling well, he's not leaving. So um, we're going to get that taken care of.